Welcome back to Pathway to Leadership. You know, as leaders, it's normal to experience stress every once in a while. However, it's very important to learn how to manage that stress. By managing your stress, you're going to maintain your effectiveness and peace of mind as a leader. So don't go away. Today we're talking about ways and strategies that you can manage stress in your workplace. So the first thing we need to do as leaders is learn how to identify the signs of stress. This can include physical symptoms such as headaches or being really tense. Other signs are fatigue or anxiety, irritability, and worst of all, depression. And by identifying the symptoms of stress, you can put together a way to start managing it effectively. A very effective way to manage stress in your workplace is to make sure you're practicing self-care. That's right, taking care of yourself. This means taking care of your physical and mental health. You have to make sure you eat right, getting enough sleep, well rested, both mentally and physically. If you want to take it a step further, you might be interested in meditation. You can Google meditation. Matter of fact, here on YouTube, you can find many videos about meditation. But the most important thing is make sure you're taking care of yourself first. You can't take care of other people unless you're healthy and on task. Another great way to mitigate some of the stress is by delegation. Learn to delegate some of the tasks that you're responsible for. Delegating some of the tasks that you're responsible for can help prevent burnout. By delegating, you're showing your team members that you trust them. Make sure you're giving them the support and resources they need, and this will give you the confidence that you need to have when you start giving out tasks and opportunities for them to make decisions. Next, it's a good idea for you to set realistic goals. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, obviously, if you're setting unrealistic goals, then that's going to cause a whole lot of stress in your life. So make sure the goals that you're setting are realistic, achievable, and prioritize your task based on most important to least important. This will help you focus your time and energy on the tasks that matter most. And when you do it that way, you won't feel so overwhelmed by the huge mountain and workload that you have. And remember, you're not the only leader that can succumb to stress. Develop a support group. Yes, I said it, a support group of other leaders in your organization that can get together and discuss some of the elements and stress and how they cope with it. Learn from each other. So I would lie to you if I said you can eliminate stress from your workplace. That's not going to happen, but you can effectively manage it. So to recap what we went over, you have to learn to identify the signs of stress. Put together a plan to effectively manage it. And remember, first and foremost, practicing self-care is extremely effective to managing stress. You have to take care of yourself physically and mentally. Show some trust in your team and delegate a lot of the tasks that have been overwhelming you. Set realistic goals, goals that can be achieved, and prioritize all your tasks from most important to least important. In conclusion, stress is not going to go away. Stress will always be there, but the effective leader will recognize the signs and put together a plan to manage stress. I'm John with Pathway to Leadership. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up and let the algorithm know that we're here. We're a strong community at Pathway to Leadership, and I'll see you next time.